this is mock paper one uh, section two the fill in the blanks all right uh, question 16 all you have to do first write down this number write it down big here when you say round to the nearest hundred okay all you have to do point the arrow at the digit in the hundreds place this is ones tens and this hundred okay so look at 55 55 is nearer to 60 approximately around rounded up to 60 so you have this 60 over here this one remains the same 39 this is 60 and whatever here is 0 but leave it all 0 okay so the answer is 39600 next find the product of uh, 1290 and 5 Okay, 0, 5, 0 times 5, 0, 9 times 5, 45, put a 5 over here, 4 over there. Next you should do is 2 times 2, take 2 times 5, 10, 10 plus 4 is 14, 4, put a 1 here. 1 times 5 is 5, add 1, 6, 6, 4, 5, 0. Okay, write the missing number in the number pattern below. 25, 39, 26, 59, 27, 79. All right, find the difference. Take one of the numbers, right? 2659. Okay, the larger one uh, minus the smaller one. You get a difference. Okay, then you check over here. 2779 takes away 2659. You see if it is uh, 120. So if all 120, all you have to do is to take this. Uh, this number 2779 over here. Right here, add one to o, add one to o. So you add one to o, you get this answer. Right to check, to check. Right, take the larger number from here. All right, minus one to o. You see if you can get the same number two eight nine nine. Right, so three zero one nine takes away one two zero is two eight nine nine. That's the answer. Which of the two fractions below are smaller than half? Now, all you have to do, look at all the denominator, 4, 3, 6, 11, right? Now, half simply means if they are, the denominator of 4 simply means this way. You find out what is half of 4, so 2 is half of 4. Now, 3 is greater than 2, so this fraction 3 over 4 is greater than half. Okay, how about? 3 look at 3 here what is half of 3 half of 3 is 1.5 right so 1.5 is greater than this 1 over 3 1.5 is greater than 1 over 3 1.5 happens to be half okay now this way this 1.5 is greater than 1 over here it means this one third is smaller than half okay same for here 5 over 11 is smaller than half of 11 which is 5.5 5. all right so 5 over 11 is smaller than half of 11 or half okay now this is the same this is half so the answer is one third and 5 over 11 question 20 what is the value of 5 out of 8 and 3 out of 4 look at the denominator you can change 4 into 8 times 2, 2. Now you deal with denominator 8 and 8. So 5 plus 6, 11. 11 out of 8 is uh, 11, 11 out of 8. All you have to do break it right into mixed number. Break it in the next, next number and um, this becomes 1. Okay, so answer is 1 whole 3, 8. Right, let's carry on to the next one. Express six, 0 0.6 as a fraction. 0 0.6 is one decimal place. All right, one decimal place. It means it must be six over ten. Ten has one zero over here. All right. So you see very carefully. If it's two decimal place, then something over hundred. Three decimal place. Okay, it's the number here. Right, over one thousand. One decimal place. 
the number on top here over 10 right so 6 over 10 to find the simplest fraction 6 over 10 right divide by 2 all right you have uh, 3 over 5 next arrange the following numbers from the smallest to the greatest right this 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 here put over here align them this way of course uh, this part is the uh, uh, decimal point look at it 6000 over right this one looks like 6000 over right 6 4 it started with 6 is the greatest definitely the greatest so 6.4 is the greatest right next you come 672 it looks like 672 is greater than 604 okay so you go and go down and the smallest is of course 64 this here looks like 64 right so step one you need to do is to align the decimal point and you can actually see and compare the number number 23 7.5 minus 0 0.96 align them properly 7.5 align the dot here this dot over here align here okay you minus it looks like 750 minus 96 okay this is a rectangle this side here is definitely 90 degrees all right in order to find p d r okay p d r or r d p you take 90 degrees okay minus all this minus all this right you should get the answer 23 the length of rectangle is 18 the breadth is 6 cm here given given length and breadth it should be easy perimeter is 18 plus 16 one set of length and breadth so there are two sets 18 here 16 here that is why you bracket them you add them times 2 18 plus 6 is 24 times 2 24 times 2 is 48 number 26 Hana reach the library now we have time we have duration all right she was there for that long okay one hour and 25 minutes what time did she leave the library so the starting time is 9 45 here okay and she stayed for one hour 25 minutes you put one hour here first okay jump over the next one hour is 10 45 9 45 to 10 45 is one hour now handle this 25 minutes over here you put 25 minutes here you know that 10 45 okay you want to add 25 minutes to find out the final time now the easier thing to do is find out the next o'clock all right and put it there the next o'clock is 11 a.m. 10.45 a.m. The next o'clock is 11 a.m. Right? So, you manage to find that uh, 45, mi 45 over here, you need 15 minutes to reach here. So, 25 minus of 15. You have 11, right? 25 minus of 15 gives you 10. So, 10 minutes after 11 is 11 10 11 10 now study a point compass below carefully playground market and so on now question a we're dealing with the red part over here okay it says audrey was facing the market at first take a look facing the market at first or three okay facing the market at first she will face the mrt station after turning 135 now note 135 is how many 45 degrees is three yeah uh, three three 45 degrees all right so three 45 degrees you look over here all right so it turned how many what is it it turned all right 
a clockwise direction. So at first she, let me change the ink. At first she was here, she's facing the market. So 345 degrees clockwise direction. 145, 245, 345 is 100, 135 degrees, right? 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 The person will now face the MRT station. Okay? So this is true. Right, let's take a look at the next one. Audrey was facing the park at first. She will face the library after she made a 90 degrees turn. The answer is not possible to tell why. Okay, so she was facing the park. She will face the library if she made a 90 degrees turn. Now watch out, this 90 degrees did not say 90 degrees clockwise or 90 degrees anti-clockwise, right? So, answer is not possible to tell. So at first, she was facing the park. Where's the park? Take a look here. She's facing the park, all right? Here. Now, if she turns 90 degrees, it could be down here, or it could be the other side, facing the market or facing the library. So it is not possible to tell with the statement that does not tell you whether it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. Number 28, right? This guy has 23 crates of potato. Crates just like boxes of potato. Now each crate contains 100 potatoes, right? So, uh, sorry, 120, so like 120, 120, 23 of these 120 right now there is a total over here which you need to find out okay so the total is 23 times 120 you have 2760 potatoes all together so all together what she did was she packed them into bags of six potatoes each how many bags of potato were there all right Big boxes all add together now pack into smaller bags of six each. So you have the total here divide by six. Right? If you worked it out, it should be 460 bags. Inside each bag, there will be six potatoes. 29. Okay, all these are 1 cm square as shown below. Okay, draw a square ABCD. BA, the line BA was originally given. And watch out, this BA, look over here. It actually is diagonally drawn on this, this large square here of four squares. So, in order for you to find out to draw the opposite line, you make sure that there's a large square, large square over here of four squares. Draw diagonally down. You should draw diagonally down this way. It becomes CD. Okay. Then for per uh, perpendicular line, all you have to do is to make sure this is 90 degrees. Now, it is down this way in four square, opposite diagonally up. That's why you, you learn about symmetry, right? It goes up this way, okay? Diagonally cuts through four squares, okay? So this is parallel to this, draw a line here, four squares, up, up this way. Four squares, down, and down this way. Complete the symmetry figures below with dotted lines. Okay, this is how it's been drawn. Next, Annie spent nine ten, nine ten of an hour. It means not even an hour, right? Nine past out of ten to complete her homework. Right? She completed her homework within an hour. She spent one fifth hour less than the end. Another person to complete her homework. N, any, and Lee N. Any, nine, ten. Lee N, Lee N spends longer. Okay? Any spends shorter time. Lee N is longer by one fifth hour. 
one view of an hour. Right? Now watch out with the magic line. Here, the magic line down. This part of Li N is 9 10 of an hour. Okay? So, how much time did Li N take to complete her homework? Look over here, that's how you do. Take 9 10, add up here. Alright? Add up here, 1 fifth of an hour. So, 9 10, add up here. Change 5 into 10, you get 2 10. Change 5 into 10, 1 fifth into 10, you get 2 10. Add them together is 11 10. 11 10, 11 is more than 10. Okay? So get 1 of the 10 out, it becomes 1 hour. Okay? And the other 10th of an hour, 1 tenth of an hour remain. Answer 1 hour, 1 tenth. 32, all you have to do, take a 2048 divided by 8, you will have this uh, one decimal place. Why? Because the question asks nearest whole number. Whenever you hear nearest whole number, it is always no decimal place. A number without decimal place, you see? Nearest whole number. Right? There is no mixed number. There is no something smaller than 1 over here. So all you have to do after dividing, you give an answer of 25.6. Point the arrow at the ones. You have 56. 56 is nearer. Okay? You round them up to 60, right? Okay? So this 5 has become 6. 2 remains and this one became 0. Dot zero, right? Okay, of course, when you want your answer in whole number, there should not be a dot zero, no dot zero, so just 26 grams. 33, all you have to do, take 3.45 times 5, you have $17.25. Dot now, over here, Rosanna formed a rectangle using a 64 cm long wire. Here, from here, you add all the way here. Okay, it's 64 cm. It means the perimeter is 64 cm. There's something you need to figure out. Now, the length of the rectangle, now this is the uh, relationship partner, very important. The length is three times, uh, or was three times the breadth of the rectangle. Look, three times means one U, two U, three U. The breath is only one time. Right? Can you see that? Now, in the rectangle, of course, the opposite, you have the same length, right? So you have 3U. And the opposite of the breath, you have, okay, 1U. Look, the total perimeter is 8U. So P64 is 8U. Right? 8U is 64. We need to find just 1U first. Okay, 1u is 64 divided by 8 is 8, right? We have uh, 8, right? Now, all you have to do, read the question again. What was the length of the rectangle? Look, length of the rectangle is here, 3u. Okay, so after looking for 1u, you need to do is to find 3u. 3U is 24. Next, Nuru bake a cake for 1 hour 15 minutes. She finished baking at this time. So we have a duration and we have a time. Please draw your timeline. What time did she start baking? Now, this is duration which is on top 1 hour an hour and 15 minutes okay so this is the ending time go back one hour you have 11.05 now you need to go back 15 minutes right you know that 11.05 to go back 15 minutes is equal to be 10 something right so the nearest o'clock is 11 
from 11 to 11.05 is only 5 minutes. We've gone back 5 minutes in time. You need to go back 15 minutes. So 5 minutes over here, the remaining must be 10 minutes more. Go back 10 minutes more after 11. So 10 minutes after uh, back, okay, before 11. 10 minutes before 11 is 10.50. Okay, that's all for section B.